today I will be reading to you from Stars and Moon Parts in Our Garden by Rainbow Star underscore 772. That's me! Now, on to chapter 15, Time Runs Slow Without You. Russia found himself smiling after he walked out of America's office. The talk he'd had with America had been short, but he enjoyed every moment of it. He wished he had more time, but he had another class to run to. He'd only had a couple minutes to stop by, but a second class to get to. After spending most of his break in between classes writing and running down to his office to spend some time with him, he'd be a little later than usual. Hopefully his teacher wouldn't notice. If his teacher did, he could just say he lost track of time. It's not like he hadn't done so several times before. As he walked, he couldn't help but wonder how he'd never noticed how attractive America was. From his small smiles to his gentle aura. He wasn't sure how he'd never noticed it, but now he couldn't help but notice it. He had also noticed America's black sclera. It was odd, but something that was unique around the castle. It made America's face more memorable to those around the castle. Soon enough, he was where he was supposed to be. He was in front of the room he'd come to associate with his history lesson. History was fun to him most of the time, but currently his teacher was covering a particularly boring era of it. He took a seat and checked the time, thankful when he noticed he wasn't late, and actually a couple minutes early instead. He relaxed at that and sighed, hoping that this class would just be over with sooner. The sooner it was over, the sooner he could get fencing class over with. And the sooner that was over with, the sooner he could stop by the chamomile flowers to drop off his response. And the sooner he may have a chance to visit America again. The history class started, and time crawled at less than a snail's pace. It was maddening how time drew itself out so much. It seemed like today was just going to draw itself on for weeks. It felt longer than it did usually. Part of the blame of that being laid on a particular area of history that was being covered. And the other was definitely his excitement's fault. Russia sighed to himself and repeated the year of one of the events. His teacher was making sure he was still there and engaged. He was engaged, just very bored and wishing that the class would end. After what felt like a good few hours, which in reality was more like 30 minutes, the class was over. Russia gladly got up and ran out of the room, running towards his last class of the day. He wasn't exactly excited for fencing, but it'd definitely go by faster than the other two classes. Thankfully for his own sanity, he was right. The class seemed to zoom by him at high speeds. But he didn't mind that. It meant he'd be able to do what he'd been looking forward to all day. He felt that it was about damn time. First, he jogged off to the chamomile flowers that were below his window. He took a quick sweep of the area around him, checking to make sure no one was watching him. He then crouched down, gently moving the flowers away. Then he put the letter down carefully moving the flowers back into place once it was in its spot. He then got back up, starting to walk casually towards America's office. He didn't want to come off as excited about this, even though he did want to get there faster. As soon as he was in the area, he heard some noise from there. He wasn't sure what was going on. He heard America's voice. The other sounded stressed and uncomfortable saying things in a language he didn't know or understand. That caused him to throw caution to the wind and run the rest of the way there. When he got there, he found America pushed into a corner by the same person from before, Argentina, as he learned in America's letter. 
was currently cornering a very stressed America. But wanting to be with a guy is... America ducked down, trying to get away from her. Nothing is wrong with him wanting to be with guys, Rush interrupted her, coming in, hoping that he could force her to back away from America without hurting her. America looked over at him and gave him a pleading look. He looked uncomfortable. Russia ran over, pulled her back away from America, and pulled the small healer up, holding him. But I can fix him. He shouldn't be interested in guys. It's unnatural. The homophobe, Argentina, continued to speak, ignoring what Russia had just said. Get out of my office, Argentina, America growled sternly, seeming to have regained some of his confidence. But... Out, America growled again. Argentina tried to protest again, but this time Russia spoke. He said he wants you out, so I suggest you listen. The homophobe grumbled something and stormed off. Once she was out, America relaxed and let out a sigh of what seemed to be relief. Russia smiled and looked at America, and then flustered a little when he noticed the way he was holding the healer. He had picked the healer up as if he were a princess. America didn't seem to realize how he was being held until Russia put him down. Even then, he showed no signs of being even slightly embarrassed. Thank you, Russia, America said softly, smiling. Russia smiled a little and hugged America gently. No problem, he said, trying not to sound as flustered as he was. America hugged Russia back, making a sound that sounded oddly like a purr. Russia shrugged it off and kept hugging America for a little longer. He thought that maybe he had more of a chance than he'd previously thought. He certainly hoped he did. He knew America was attracted to him, but he wasn't sure if that meant he had a chance with him romantically. He certainly hoped it did. that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time, and I will see you tomorrow!